Warren highlighted the potential of the Internet to significantly impact Borsheim's operations, emphasizing lower operating costs and the opportunity to offer customers more value. He discussed the importance of trust in the jewelry industry and how Berkshire Hathaway's reputation could benefit Borsheim's. Buffett also mentioned Geico's potential in the online market. Ten years from now, and I'm referring to Borsheim's as the retail uh, part of it to the consumer, not so much the corporate division. Ten years from now, what would be the three things that you would expect to change on a day-to-day -day operating basis to change the most and affect your ability to be dominant in that area? Well, I think, are you talking about Borsheim specifically? Yes. Now, I think Borsheim's, I don't know about three things, but I, I have, Borsheim's may be one of uh, a couple of our companies that, where the internet could be a huge, uh, have a huge potential for us. I don't know if that'll happen, but, but uh, there's no question that, that we operate, and I've got a message on the internet that uh, at considerably, very considerably lower gross margins than does a Tiffany or, or publicly held jewelry operations. We are giving customers considerably more for their money. We've got way lower operating costs than, than the public companies. And I say on the internet, our, our operating costs are 15 to 20 percentage points and even more in some cases, less than publicly owned op publicly owned competitors. So we've got a lot to offer. Now, the big question people always have with jewelers is, how do you know who to trust? I mean, it, you know, it, it is an ar article that most people feel very uncomfortable buying. And uh, I think that the Berkshire Hathaway identification can help people feel comfortable on it. I think that the experience of customers around the country as they see it, and I don't think that uh, uh, I, I, I think it is a product, it's a, it's a high ticket item, so saving money gets to be really important, just like auto insurance saving money gets to be really important. So I think that the internet could be of significant assistance to Borsheim's in terms of spreading uh, and facilitating uh, uh, its, its uh, nationwide reputation. So Borsheim's could have a lot of growth in the internet. Could be a big part. Warren discussed the potential for Borsheim's growth through the internet, acknowledging this will benefit from nationwide reputation. Our job is to get the message to people around the country that they can literally, you know, have us send a half a dozen items to them that they can look at with no high pressure salesmanship at all or anything of the sort and look at the look at the prices, decide what they want uh, in, in their own homes and they will do very well with us, uh, uh, and we have a lot of people taking advantage of that now, but we could have 10 or 20 or 50 times that number uh, as the years go by, and I think we should, we should work very hard on that. GEICO has possibilities through the Internet, obviously, also. But, uh, uh, anything where you're offering a terrific deal to the consumer, but one of the problems has been how do you talk to that consumer? You know, the internet offers possibilities out now. The thing is that everybody in the world is going to be there, and, and why should they click on you instead of somebody else? Actually, the Berkshire Hathaway name may help a little bit on that, although Geico's name is, is extremely well known. Geico is, 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 I said in the annual report, we were going to spend $100 million in, in basically in promotion this year. We'll spend more money than that. The, the brand potential in Geico is very, very big, and, uh, and we intend to to push and push and push on that. Charlie? Well, all that said, if the internet helps some of our business, well, well certainly the CD-ROM uh, and the personal computer combined to clobber world book for us. Yeah, we, we paid our entry fee. Yeah, we, it's not all plus. No. Charlie Munner's caution about the disruptive nature of technology refers to how advancements like CDRO MIS and personal computers have the potential to significantly impact traditional businesses. What are your thoughts on the impact of decades of internet usage on Borsheim's and Geico? Have these companies benefited from technology? And have you personally experienced its benefits? We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Thank you.